Gold against US dollar, the previous week has made a bullish uh, momentum where we can see a bullish breakout to the upside above 1.2 uh, about about 2048 price level and the price did not continue on next week which means this week but the price has fall down in value on a Monday and a Tuesday. We can see a small candle which is a bullish candle on a Monday but Tuesday the bearish candle has returned back inside this incision range area which took the price even more down where where I have expected and also shared the analysis inside the chain community that I'm expecting that the price will fall down even more if the price after this bearish breakout has been confirmed and that means the next candle do not return above 2016. This bearish breakout has been failed and we can see that the next candle on a Thursday the price is turned back up inside this range area again and we can see that the Friday candle has continued to rise in value almost reaching the start of this supply zone around 2040. And then on the weekly time frame we can see that the price is always moving downside downside and also closing this, the weekly candle even lower and lower but what we can see also the weeks are reaching also lower levels this means that the sellers that are here are pushing even more the price down but the bulls who are here also are enough strong it is it is around this demand zone which means around this support level which is 2016. They are very strong and still the price could not find enough strength to push the price even more down, closing below 2016 on the weekly time frame, which would suggest even more fall down. On the monthly time frame, what we can see is this one: a bearish candle that has been formed on the monthly time frame, where we have two more weeks until this month ends. So everything's still open. We have two more weeks that everything can change on the market, and the price could return back up. What I have expected in the previous monthly analysis is that, that after the price has made this breakout, I was expecting the price could return back down around one. 980 which is a support level just confirming the bullish breakout as a valid one and not closing below which will suggest that the price will find enough strength bullish strength to push the price from 1980 to the upper side around 2072 what we can see here on the monthly time frame that very important level on the monthly time frame is this area around 2072 which we'll see much more clearly on the weekly and also daily time frame but for now what we can see a very important level first one uh, as a small one is 202035 on the monthly time frame and we'll see will the price close below if the price closes below this will mean that there is a, a selling pressure that could could take the price even more down around 1992 which we can see it is a small support before 1980 for that let's go to the weekly time frame and look and see how this looks so what we can see here a very important support level is 2016 if the price closes below this will mean that the price could go uh, all the way around this one here which is 2002 and if the price closes on the weekly time frame below this one the next one where the price could reach is 1980 so 2016 is very important level on the weekly time frame on the upper side for the weekly time frame we need to see the price closing above 2064 which will mean also very close to zero to to the price 2072 this will uh, we, you can see it here it's very important level for the bulls that they need to make a break to the upside in order to continue to reach higher price levels we can see a very open space here between 2072 and 201 uh, sorry 2134 let's go to the daily and see much more clearly we can see it here that the price was inside the small uptrend channel and the price has gone outside of this channel currently the price has reached the lower side but returning back inside institution range area what this means the price is still inside indecision and the, we need to see the price making a break to the upside or to the downside until that happens everything's still open because you can see the price could make a small a bullish break to the upside and then being failed and returning back down and making bear breakout and then not confirming with the next, next candle so this means the price is chopping is a little bit choppy and it is bouncing between upper side which is means which means 2048 and below side 2016 until the price makes a breakout to the upside or the downside i'm still waiting outside and there is no clear information where the price could go 
When the price makes a breakout to the upside, for example here, or to the downside here, I'm also making the analysis each day, so I'm watching what the market is happening, so what the bulls and also the bears are forming on the market, so when the breakout happens, I make the analysis and also I <clears throat> inform other traders about this breakout and also what is the potential target after the breakout happens. If the breakout is failed, I also mention for the traders to be um, to be watched about the market movements and potential failed uh, bullish or bearish breakouts. So if you, if you would like to also to check the daily analysis and see where the breakout happens and also what is the potential target, you can also check the trading community for the link. You can look below the video inside the description. So see you next time and happy trading. That is all from today analysis. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment. If you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading.